Hello Leo, this message is for you. This will be your reading for December the 1st through the 15th. And I apologize for being late on your readings. Life happens, so I do apologize. Um, let's get into this. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. And please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And, okay. First card out, we've got Beyond the Ordinary, number 45. Okay, Leo. Messages for Leo for December 1st through the 15th. We have a powerful move. Interesting. One more. And we also have a great big love. Yeah, so I feel like whatever you're doing right now, Leo, I feel like you definitely have love coming in. Um, you're definitely moving towards that situation. Let's get another message. Let's get an angel message for Leo. December 1st through the 15th. Angel message. Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you to release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Yeah, so I feel like you're releasing something at the moment so that you can have room to love, Leo. You're releasing those bad um, or past hurts. You also have Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Beautiful. So you may be maybe an illustrator or you really enjoy doing art. Let's get a monology. Let's see what monology has to say. Messages for Leo. December 1st through the 15th. Messages for Leo, please. Okay. Emotions are running high, the super moon. Yeah, so you may be really anxious at the moment. You may be kind of running at full speed. One more. Believe in the impossible, the blue moon. Yeah, I feel like a lot of things are happening, happening for you at the moment, Leo. Take time to breathe out the decimating moon. Yeah, I feel like it's a really good time for you to um, really focus on your needs, focus on the things that uh, will help you achieve your goals. Okay, let's get some tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say for Mio. What do we have in store for Leo for December 1st through the 15th? Messages for Leo for the 1st through the 15th, please. Messages for Leo. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, the Three of Cups. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, as I was meditating on, on your energy, I was actually seeing the Ace of Pentacles. So I believe that you are starting something. You are beginning something new. This could be a new job. This could be a new project that, that you're working on. 
you also have the chariot. Let's see, so you may be moving at the moment. You may be on the move. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the world. Yeah, so you're definitely completing some kind of cycle. This is definitely a new beginning in something. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Four of Wands. And you have the Empress. Wow, okay. At the bottom, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay, Leo, what are you up to? Okay, Leo, yeah, I feel like things are really coming into focus for you. I feel like things are really um, very abundant for you at the moment. Um, whatever you're working on, uh, I feel like you're being supported. The Three of Cups is my card for support, for people coming to have my back, for people uh, who gather around me that show me lots of love. This may be friends, this may be family, um, but these are people who are really down with you, Leo. See, you also have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you've invested in a lot. I feel like you are really you're really focused on your on your money right now. And I feel like you're very resourceful. I feel like you are working on a certain project. And I feel like this project with the chariot card, I feel like this project is really moving forward. It's something that is going to take you to places that you haven't really been before, I feel. Now, in the second row, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So, I, I feel like you, you're not really stuck, but you're kind of moving into this situation at your own pace. You have your... Your current energy right now is the world, so I feel like you're currently ending a cycle. You're currently going into the next cycle, and that's why I was steady feeling the um, Ace of Pentacles um, energy when I was meditating on your energy. You're, you're going from the world, which is the end of the cycle you're in now, going into that Ace of Pentacles energy. So I feel like whatever this is, this is a new beginning. It may be also an increase in your finances. It may be a new job or promotion. But this is definitely the beginning of something new. This is the beginning of something that can be very um, lucrative, very prosperous for you. Now you have the Five of Swords down here. And it is in your bottom row. Uh, so I feel like I feel like this is you kind of coming away from a conflict or a drama.
I feel like you fought very hard to get to this point. And now here you have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like, you know, you may have had a lot of sleepless nights. You may have really been through it. It's caused you a lot of anxiety. I feel like you were you were really worried about your situation. But to be on the positive side, I do feel like those worries are subsiding. Um, next, you've got the Four of Wands. So I feel like you're going to have something to celebrate. You're also in this Empress energy here on the bottom. So whatever it is that you're manifesting into your life, I feel like it's coming into fruition. This may also be abundance. The Empress is very abundant. Um, she has everything that she needs. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity for these cards, please. Right now, your moon is in your eighth house and your sun is in your fifth house. Now your eighth house Shared finances, inheritances. Uh, let's see. And partners' resources. This is also goals and joint ventures. Very interesting. Okay. Your fifth house is romance, love, affairs. You playing. Playing to win, being creative. So I think that you're really tapping into that creativity, Leo. Ah, yeah, Leo. I forgot what sign I was on now. Yeah. Okay, let's get a message for Leo. What is this Three of Cups energy? What is this Three of Cups? The Two of Cups. Yeah, so... I feel like you are you are really supported at the moment. You're being supported. And I feel like it, it may be someone that you're meeting or one of your friends is going to become a love interest. I feel like... Your friend is going to become your lover. What is this Queen of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like whatever it is that you're working on, you're really holding on tight. You're protecting what it is that you're working on. You're protecting your assets. You're looking for something long-term. You're working on your long-term security. And the Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. She's able to do that with no problem. What is this chariot? 
What situation is Leo moving into? What situation is he moving into? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so this may be a job offer. It may be that you're going to college. Um, but I feel like communication is coming in for you to make this move. The resources are coming. What's this Knight of Pentacles? The King of Wands. Okay. Yeah, so with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're moving at your own pace. But what I'm feeling like with this King of Wands, I feel like this King of Wands is your energy. And you should take more of a bold stance. Um, you should be more... Um, assertive to get your point across. You should take action. Be courageous. Courageous. Be courageous. Yes. What is this world? What is this world? The world. Okay, so you're definitely... Now, the world is being clarified by the world. So that is your spirit guides letting you know that I mean exactly what I say. You are starting over. You're beginning a new cycle. You are evolving. You are progressing into this new situation. What is this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords, Spirit? The Chariot. Yeah, so I feel like you're moving away from this energy. I feel like, now you have the Chariot next to the Chariot. And those are major arcanas. So those are very important messages from, from Spirit. They're, they're very important messages from the universe, whatever you believe. Um, and you have, you have quite a few major arcana here, so this message is very important for you. But yeah, I feel like you're moving out of the energy of the Five of Swords. You're moving away from it. You are... You're changing your own outcome. What is this Nine of Swords? Okay, the Ten of Cups. So you're moving from the Nine of Swords energy, which is fear, worry, anxiety, into the Ten of Cups. So you are really progressing into a new way of thinking. Wow, okay. What is this Four of Wands, Spirit? Give me a message for this Four of Wands. Give me a message for this Four of Wands, please. Okay. We got two cards. Okay, we've got the, the Nine of Wands. And we got the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, with the, the Four of Wands, which I, I feel like you're going to have reason to celebrate. This is going to be something that is bringing in something new. And it is December, so there may be a lot of celebrations for you. Maybe you're going to have a lot of get-togethers. But some celebration that you're going to go to um, is going to evolve into something it's going to give you some kind of creativity you're going to take action on something and it's going to be very lucrative look here you've got the ten of cups the knight of wands and the ten of pentacles so two tens
Very interesting. So you're you're progressing from a nine to a ten. So you're you're making your way, but with this ten of pentacles, I feel like you are really grabbing on to your abundance. This is long term security. And I feel like that's exactly what you were looking for with this Four of Pentacles is your long-term security. So I feel like that's coming in for you. What is this Empress? The Moon. The Empress and the Moon. Yeah, I feel like with the Empress and the Moon, you're manifesting. And I feel like you're on this path and you're you're trusting. You really have trust and have faith in the direction that you're going. You're you're on a journey for success, Leo. Those are the words that I want to say. You're on a journey for success. Does that make sense? If if you're resonating with this, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Um, and in the comment section, type claim it. Claim this abundant energy. Yeah, Leo, and you're showing up to your own reading. Here's the strength card. This is your card. Um, and she's very hopeful. She's very strong, very creative. She is really respecting in the direction that she's going. She's loving herself in a way. That is just creative and bold. Those are the words that I want to say to you. I feel like you are so strong at the moment. You also have temperance. All right, Leo. Very interesting. So I feel like whatever this situation is, I feel like you're in complete balance. You're feeling the full power of the strength that you have. And you're realizing that you're capable of succeeding great lengths. Um, I see so much abundance in this reading. So much abundance and so much happiness. Like I said, I, I, I see love as well. So, very interesting, Leo. Okay, let's get a card from the universe. What does the universe want to say to close out this reading for Leo? What does the universe want to say for Leo for December 1st through the 15th? Oneness is my true nature. Yeah, becoming one with spirit. Really tapping into your spirituality. Really diving deep into yourself for answers. From source, from God, the spirits, angels, whatever it is you believe in. Whatever higher power moves you. My vibes speak louder than my words. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna you're moving in positivity. You are carrying a positive aura around you at the moment. You really have a high vibration. That's the reason why you're attracting so much abundance here in this reading. I feel like you have raised your vibration to a new level. Okay, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. 
Yeah, so this is definitely someone coming in. And this may be someone new. This may be someone that you haven't met. But I'm really feeling like it's a friend. Maybe a friend of a friend. Uh, someone that you know. But you're actually seeing them in a new way. Leo. And at the bottom you have Joy is the ultimate creator. Yeah, you can create so much with a positive attitude and a joyful soul. So yeah, that is your reading, Leo. Now, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that may, be, um, that may resonate even more. And have a wonderful month, Leo. Many blessings to you. Love and light.